People haven't heard me talk a lot about this house. Honestly, has just been because this house has made me so freaking annoyed. I own this. I'm flipping it with one of my friends. Within a week, I got hit with code enforcement because they didn't like how um, long it was taking for me to get three dumpsters worth of material out of this house. This house is massive. There's a full basement here and I have over 2,000 square feet on the main level. This is a six bedroom, three bath house. It's huge. It looked like this before I purchased it. There were broken windows on the property. There were dumpsters, yes, dumpsters, plural, in the driveway. The original owners were the ones that broke all the fucking windows of this house. The fact that I had to board up the windows because I had squatters in this home that wouldn't leave when I purchased This house has been frustrating from the start, to put it lightly. Down to only one dumpster, which by the way is mostly full. The demo started. Let me take you in and show you around. And then I'll tell you the crazy story about the squatter that was living in here, because that's a whole other thing. Okay, so the only thing I'm keeping is that light. When I first bought this, there was teal kitchen cabinets all along here, a weird subdivider here, and the kitchen was all against that wall. This place was literally filled to the brim with trash. This was a bathroom. It'll look super cute when we're done with it. Floors are stuffed up pretty bad, but we're gonna buff all those out. Um, they did smoke in the house. This room was originally painted black. Some of the horror stories. Squatters busted up all my windows before they left. Just just couldn't quite handle it but there was like literal poop smeared on the tile of the walls of this bathroom because i had to cut all of the power all of the utilities everything to this home so that i could get the people out of this house and down into the dark dungeon that is the basement We ended up having this really intense leak that was actually coming from the bathroom upstairs this was all tiled um, that was like flooding this area that we didn't realize it was causing a bunch of mold. Obviously we ripped all that out and had to let all this dry. So initially when I came down here, I don't know what was going on in this house, but like I said, I had squatters, so many needles and people's IDs. I don't want to know what's going on here. There was grandparents that passed, like grandkids essentially, but like grown ass grandkids. I'm talking like in their thirties grandchildren. And they were living in the basement and grandma and grandpa lived up here originally. And I just, I can't even imagine how angry I would have been to see my house so epically trashed by my own grandchildren. That's where I come in. I come in to take a structure that was not livable, that was full of complete hazards that no one wanted to live in and make it something that is going to be a gorgeous, beautiful home for someone else. That's why I do what I do. Because I love breathing life back into old Real things. estate is not for the faint of heart. Always more drama, there's always something going wrong, but I'm excited to see what this lovely little train wreck of a house is gonna become.